Stuart Lancaster, very welcome to Leinster Rugby. Thank you. Nice to be here. You're just after coming out of the media storm, um, straight into it. You had a, your first chance to meet the players as well this morning. It's been a very busy morning for you already. Yeah, it's, no, it's been great. I uh, got the 6.30 flight from Leeds, so it was early. Uh, and then uh, no, I had a quick chat with Leo and met the players, which was great. I uh, had a chat with four of the senior players, uh, done the media uh, and coaching in about half an hour. You mentioned there about Leeds. You will, your family will still be based uh, at home in Leeds, um, so that'll be tricky, I'm sure. But again, you mentioned opportunities that were elsewhere, and I suppose this is that little bit closer to home. Oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. You know, the, the the other opportunities I was looking at were were going to leave me on my own uh, or, or having to relocate my family. And uh, you know, the kids are 15 and 16. That's a massive move for them around their, their exams time. So, no, this works well. I mean, hopefully, I can get home. You know, on the weekends or the occasional day off here and there. Um, I'm sure my wife and kids will come out there, uh, massive rugby fans. Well, they'll be very welcome to the RDS yeah. any time. Um, talk to us about that phone call, I mean, when the phone goes and, and Leo's number, I presume you didn't know Leo's number when it pops up, but uh, what's the immediate feeling? No, you're right, I didn't know, and uh, uh, and uh, I ran back and he says, uh, so it was Leo Cullen, and I went, oh, you're right, mate? And he said, yeah, yeah, good, and uh, he said, what are you up to? And I said, uh, well, I'm not, not much really. Uh, no, no, we, I, there, was, there was actually a variety of things going on at the same time. I just got back from... Um, New Zealand and uh, you know like I say there was a lot of different things going on at the same time but Leo's call was intriguing because it's such a big club you know Lens is such a big club and uh, so many good players uh, I could see the potential for me to come in as a coach and add some value uh, and uh, and that's the way it's turned out you know I came across for a visit um, last weekend uh, met, met the main the main coaches and the main people involved in the club um, they showed me around obviously I knew Dublin pretty well from my experience with England uh, but nice to see the training ground and, and, and the RDS and everything else. And uh, no, no, I mean it was a it was a pretty easy decision to be honest. You mentioned there England, and you were talking earlier in media about the tough nine months that you've had. But you've kept yourself busy, Stuart. Yeah, no, I've been. I, I mean, I, I initially uh, went to the Southern Hemisphere in January. I went to uh, New Zealand, starting New Zealand, went to Australia and then South Africa, uh, and pretty much visited a lot of the high-performing rugby union, rugby league. Uh, AFL uh, and ended up in um, Cape Town coming back from the Stormers. So that was a brilliant opportunity. I went in um, March to America, helped set up their professional league. They set up the professional league in America, which was brilliant. Uh, and I did, went to a leadership conference and made a relationship with the Atlanta Falcons and did some coaching out there in American football, which was fascinating. Uh, and then I spent uh, a reasonable amount of time in um, New Zealand coaching. So. Uh, which was an unbelievable experience, you know, really. I felt I gave a lot, but also I learned a huge amount at the same time as well. And uh, the team I was coaching with, Counties Monaco, Monaco were, were, were brilliant hosts. And uh, a similar environment to this, there's, there was three coaches in place and I came in and, and, and you know, added value, hopefully. And, uh, you know, I definitely feel an affinity to that team now. And we are, ironically played the All Blacks uh, because they had a warm-up game for the, New Zealand, uh, for the Australia test. So I ended up coaching against the All Blacks again. So I caught up with Wayne Smith and Steve Hansen and, uh, you know, great to see them as well. You mentioned there about what you brought into counties. Uh, what are you going to be bringing into Leinster Rugby? Because obviously Kurt has departed uh, as defence coach and, and that'll be a primary focus. But what else do you hope to bring as a senior coach within Leinster Rugby? I think I've, I've had a broad range of experiences as a coach. You know, I've, um, I've had probably 50 games in charge of England. So you learn a lot by coaching against different countries and learning from different players. Um, I think uh, the player development um, Part of my evolution, you know, my development as a coach, I think it's something I can offer as well in terms of young player development. I, I've always been big on bringing young players through and trusting them. Uh, and so hopefully I can help out in the academy, but, but primarily it's helping out with the coaching and, uh, and also helping Leo really, because it is a tough job. You know, he was made interim coach and uh, made the head coach and I've been in that situation. And sometimes I looked around and thought, this is a real difficult situation. I'm not really sure how to deal with this. And uh, uh, you look around for help and you know you, you get some but 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 it helps if there's senior figures alongside you and uh, hopefully I can be that uh, sounding board for Leo and help him um, you know along along the way and you know, it's going to be a you know a difficult but exciting year. There's no betting in period Stuart it's uh, three o'clock on Saturday in Scottsdown against Glasgow Warriors and they had a great win at the weekend against Connacht uh, so straight into it. Oh yeah I mean uh, you know I watched the game and uh, no they played very well very well coached by Gregor and uh, uh, um, you know, we, we'll we'll need to be at our best uh, to win that game. Uh, it's going to be good for me though because I can I can get my teeth into coaching less so today, more so tomorrow in terms of the defence, uh, and then uh, roll our sleeves up and get stuck into it on on Saturday, and then the following week back up there Edinburgh on the Friday night. Uh, so no, great great to get into it. I mean, sometimes you join clubs or you get going in pre-season and you're waiting for the games, but 
it's none of that. It's uh, straight in. Well, the very best of luck, Stuart. Thank you. Cheers.